definitely wanted to make sure my daughters were safe at all costs. And one inkling of blood I was seeing, I probably would have lost it, but my daughters are the one who got hurt. So I seen the trash can, I looked at it like a mouth, used a little bit of my calmness, and I scooped it up and I delivered it into his natural habitat. I felt great about it. And uh, the, re the reactions I got from it, from people call, you know, calling me, from texting me and everything else, it's been inspiring for myself and my life and me moving forward, wanting to do anything I can possibly or helping whoever I can help out, inspired by this, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm glad nobody got hurt, no children. I got daughters and I would, like I said, I would be dev devastated if they was bleeding in front of me from an animal yeah. I could, you know, basically protect them from. I didn't know it would work. I, it just added up, I don't know. I mathematically, I just do the trash can mouth was bigger than his head. And I'm pretty, I'm not saying I'm strong, I got a bad back, but I mean, I, I had a lot of adrenaline going. I was just about to shoot around some basketball with my nephew. Um, I was in, I was a little pain at that. My arm, I pulled it up. It was hurting for like a couple of, like, see, I say it just stopped hurting. But at the end of the day, like I said, I inspired this for the, the world to see is that just be what you got to do for your, for your children, protect them and provide for them and make sure if it's an alligator or a shark or even a person with a gun, do what you got to do to protect them. This story is incredible. Everyone should be talking about this. Thank you, Edmund from Madison, Mississippi for sending me this story. Madison is just outside of Jackson. So shout out to the good folks down in Mississippi. This story comes out of Orange County, Florida. The hero that you see in the video is Eugene. He was at home with his family, his daughters outside playing on their bikes and skates. When they heard a hissing sound, they ran and got their father right away. He said he didn't see it at first until he got closer. It happened to be a wild Florida gator. Eugene told reporters that he jumped into action quickly, so fast he didn't even have time to put on his shoes. This is why he had on socks and flip flops. He had to think quickly, so he grabbed the trash can and kept backing the gator up, flipped the lid and got him to go inside. Everybody's cheering for him because he not only saved his kids, but also the neighborhood. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you're new, include new subscriber in your comment and I'm gonna reply to you. But hey, let's go ahead and get into this video. You going back, you, you going back, I'm going back too. Baby, watch out, watch out. Get the bell, Get the bell, Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when they ain't going to the side. Let me know. Uh, Somebody let me know when the hand yeah, going to the side. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. 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 with a whole bean right now. I'm a woman and I ain't doing that. No way. 
A job like this is for a man like him. You know Edmund who sent me this, he was like, this is a man's job and I have to agree with you Edmund 100%. For the ladies out there who always say they don't need a man for nothing, it's easy to think that you could be the mother and the father. Easy to say we're equal to men. Yeah, that's until the gator is on your lawn. And then you realize you need help from some man, even if he's not your own. When we know as women, it's certain things that we can't do or won't do. Can you imagine this happening? No man around. I'm talking no man from anywhere. The ladies will be out here letting dinosaurs eat us up. When those little girls saw that gator, who did they go and get? They went and got their dad. And they know very well, that's how it's supposed to work in the household. The head of the household, the man, he's the first line of defense. The way the media, society, the Western world, how they want to emasculate men. You have women walking around with all this disdain for men, disrespect. What will happen if we continue to allow these people to emasculate all the men? Who will save us from the alligators? Who's gonna go serve in the military? And by the way, Eugene in this video, he's an army vet. He lives in Orange County, Florida. But if you can tell by his accent, he's from Philadelphia. One time for the vets out there, my dad, he's a vet too. By far, this is the most Florida thing I've ever seen. Eugene said he got a little worried when he got down to the bushes to release the gator because he was thinking it could have been three more down there. So he hurried up, he dropped the trash can, allowing the gator to go back into the water, moving really fast because these gators are quick. They can easily go 10, 20 miles per hour. But salute to this black man right here, keeping the community safe. And he did it all in some socks and flip flops came up with a plan really quick, was resourceful, using the trash can. I know one thing for the ladies out there, when danger comes, you're not worrying about if he's making $100,000. You're not worrying about if he's six feet tall. You just want somebody to show up and defend you. If you are from Orange County, Florida, or from Philly, let me know below in the comments. Shout out to Tyrone W, LaMarcus, Dark Power, Jerome, and Christian. Thank you all for your support for this channel. Want to see more content like this? You can also contribute by hitting up the Cash App and the PayPal. Links below in the description. Ladies, fellas, want a balanced analysis from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. Hey, let me know when they ain't going to side. Let me know. Uh, Somebody let me know when they ain't yeah, going to side. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey,